sorry. I'm sure the guys at Sweetwater are just watching this like, what is this guy doing? What am I doing? Well, I'm here to talk about some pretty cool stuff today. And uh, yeah, that's right. I'm teaming up with Sweetwater to not only demo a bunch of stuff, to get a bunch of stuff for you guys. So you were probably wondering, what is in the box? Well, I, I really hope something. Otherwise, they put a lot of candy in here, which would also not be a bad idea. But this box, well, inside of it is, of course, another box. Of course, in that box is another box. And inside of this final box is this bad mamma jamma of a unit. So this is, of course, the Sono, or Sono, I'm not sure how you want to say it. But uh, this thing is incredible and solved all kinds of issues for me, which I'll be telling you about very soon. And uh, make sure you stay tuned uh, to the video. And I'm going to tell you guys, uh, one of the things I was talking to Sweetwater, I was like, how about we give one of these away? And they were like, how about we give one of these away? and we give some gift cards away. So I'm gonna hit you guys with all that information here very soon. Now, if you wanna skip me blabbing here about all the specs, you totally can. I'll put a link down below. But I'm gonna tell you guys about this thing because it is extremely cool what this is. So this is essentially a preamp interface, whole kind of thing geared towards you and me, guitar players. Now, this is uh, powered by one 12AX7 tube, so it's tube powered. It's incredibly versatile. Uh, I'm gonna focus on the guitar side of it as, you know, just literally plugging into it using it as a guitar interface but you could literally have mics into this thing and you have a left and right out for your speakers and one of the big things that got my attention is the fact that it said two notes on it. I'm like what are they doing with two notes because I'm, I'm friends with the guys at two notes I use the uh, torpedo live literally every single day and uh, this actually has cabinet simulation in there so I'm going to show you guys how I would use this thing basically as an on-the-go rig. You don't even need to have this plugged into a computer. You can record directly from this to your computer, or you can use it as a standalone unit, use some headphones and stuff. It's really cool. So let's just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna plug this up. I am going to use this the way, like I said, I would do it. So I'm gonna have my Line 6 HX effects plugged into this. Basically, with just these two units, I have everything I need to record. I could do full songs, all kinds of stuff. So let's go. <laughs> probably wondering what's all that where's all that stuff coming from all right so let me hit you guys with the signal path here get my sleeves out of the way uh, I'm running out of my Richie Cotton Telecaster right into my HX effects which is the effect side of the line 6 helix if you're not familiar with it uh, so no amp modeling is happening that is then going into the front of the Sono the Sono is plugged into my speaker here so I can hear myself but other than that it's just USB out into my laptop and that is both recording and running the two note software. So to be totally honest with you, even though that might seem complicated, I had everything set up without opening the manual. I didn't open the owner's manual uh, within 10 minutes and I had a working and recording. So I think if, if there's ever a testament, someone like me, cause I'm a simple guy, <laughs> you know, I just need some knobs and stuff. Uh, this, even though it does a lot, uh, it was very intuitive for me and uh, I think part of that is actually the layout. It's very, very simple. So this part right here is essentially your preamp layout. And then this up here is your interface layout. You have your uh, monitor mix, your headphones. Uh, that is your actual, uh, what am I going to call that? That is the actual monitor itself. Uh, I could actually, I didn't realize that must have got bumped. I don't even need it to be that like that. So... What do we have over here now? You can actually run mics, so I'm not gonna do it. If you're like an acoustic person, uh, I'm just a rock, I'm a simple rock and roll guy. <laughs> so give me some electric guitar with distortion and I'm, and I'm happy. But you could run mics on this. So maybe even like thinking past just the guitar side of it, you're doing podcasts, interviews, you know, miking up an acoustic, all kinds of stuff that you could really do with that side of it. I'm gonna focus on what an electric guitar player is probably gonna use it for. And um, I think part of what makes this so appealing to someone like me is it's got knobs. I'm not clicking around to do everything. And like I said, you can literally use this without even plugging it into your computer. You don't need the computer. The computer runs the two note side of it, but you can actually save your presets right here at A, B, and C. And you can see as I um, go through these, it's changing the actual two note software to presets that I have. And whether it's plugged in or not, 
I can use those. So I could literally just plug my headphones into this thing and this could be a portable amp for me to play on the go. So there's so many cool things that this does. Like I'm just gonna hit the tip of the iceberg. Um, I recommend for sure, if you're really wanting to deep dive into this thing, check out Sweetwater's video. They cover everything very, very well. Pete Thorne did a video too. So there's lots of really good videos out there to check out. But um, other than that, like I said, it's very straightforward. You have your input levels here. Uh, your signal, is your signal good? Is it, is it some, is it, is it a signal? <laughs> that letting you know that it is a signal. Is it hot, is it smoking hot, is it bad? You, you don't want bad. Hot, I'd maybe stay away from. I like to, I, I, I like things that are good and that's where I have this one set. So other than that, l listen, the dials do exactly what you think they do. The input controls how much signal is going into this. The output controls how much signal is going out. That's gonna really affect your um, levels and all that stuff. Your ins and outs are important there. Your drive. Now, the way I have this set up, let me go to my third preset, is this one I have set up with not a lot of reverb, and I'll show you how to get the reverb here in just a second. But if you wanna hear how much distortion, I see this asked a lot from you guys. How much distortion does this thing actually have to it? And there's not tons. Uh, you can't, I'm not going to mess with the input because I don't want to be, you know, getting funky with stuff. But the drive, if I turn the drive, uh, this is kind of where I liked it for pedals. You hear how there's, there's some grid. If you really dive in, and this is a chopper T pickup, so it's, it's kind of got some, some uh, compression and, and gain to it. But overall, not too much distortion. Like I said, I could really crank it up if I wanted to. There's your gain dimed out. Um, I, I, like I said, I think it, you could definitely use it to practice on your own, but pairing it with something like, you know, uh, the Line 6, the HX effects, maybe like a, a H9, something that, you know, something that just has a lot of effects in it. This thing is extremely powerful because it's just a preamp. You don't need an effects loop and stuff like that. You can just run it all straight into the front of the amp. So that is all that stuff. Now, like I said, how would I use this is with my HX effects. And this is really, really cool because you can see how I have the different presets here. Now you can choose everything from your mics. Uh, you have different uh, power amp. So basically with each preset, I changed everything. So my first preset here uh, with the actual amp modeling from two nodes is in this big cathedral. And you can hear I have a lot of reverb and how I get the reverb is it's how far you can see your mic is away from the cabinet. So I can control all that stuff. So here's the reverb. If I really want to get crazy, I might get really far away. Okay, But I, I have these saved as a preset so I can kind of, uh, even if I don't remember exactly where I had everything, I can just simply flip back to my preset if I want to do that. But I liked this a lot and I, you can see how I have the power and beam. I keep pointing to the laptop and I forget. I'm like, oh yeah, you guys can see the other screen. So the power amp is also adding a little bit of grit and distortion to it in this particular preset. I could turn it all the way off if I wanted to. So basically this is just digitally emulating a power amp section, which, you know, like I said, we don't have, that's, a, that's why you can run this thing without being plugged into a speaker. You don't have to worry about it blowing up or something crazy. So there's that one, and then like I said, so I'm using like modulation, so I have a chorus here. Uh, works flawlessly with it. So maybe some delay. I think that last chord could have been better, <laughs> but Yo, we roll with it. This is all recorded live. Like I said, you can literally change your mics. So like I have this mic'd up with a 58, but if I wanted to go say to a 57, totally could, you know, you're gonna get a lot of that high end. I could go to ribbon mics, there's all kinds of stuff. Basically this side of it is as simple or as complex as you wanna make it. Like I said before, I'm a simple guy. I just found what sounded good to me and I just ran with it. So like with this one, this is to me uh, definitely geared toward using cleans and modulation and stuff like that. Now I use the same cabinet on all of these. So a lot of people ask me my favorite IR, all that kind of stuff. And to be totally honest, I have a, it's a Rev 4x12 closed back. You guys know I love Rev stuff. 
But this is my favorite IR. It's what I use on my Two Notes Live with all of my amps. It is literally my go-to IR. So uh, you can change your amp cabinets to all kinds of different stuff. They, you can look up here if you want to. I mean, there's literally like an array of different, you want a two by 10, four by 12. You can do all kinds of stuff in here if you want to. Uh, I stuck with what I knew <laughs> and that was the Rev. So the next setting in here, to me, this one is more of a setting that I am going to use with distortion. Now you can see how I have uh, a whole different setup here. The last one was kind of in a cathedral now this is in a hall and I have the mic pulled pretty far back but it's not as ambient as that cathedral sound. A much tighter sound. So that's why when I use my distortion, I have tube overdrive on the HX effects. I'm gonna turn that down because that thing's smoking. See, now I like that sound. I like the reverb that's in there now. Uh, it feels very natural. I, I love a room reverb. That's my favorite kind of reverb. And then uh, maybe I kick on some delay for some lead tone. And that even might be too much. Uh, let me mic it a little bit closer and. That's better. So I could easily just come in here and save this if I wanted to. So this is preset B. So I could go in here and save. Uh, this is Rev Big, my second one, and then I would save it, and boom. So now that is now my preset on uh, preset B. So I think there's a little bit too much reverb. Uh, you can see, same Rev 4x12 closed back, but I've got a, a 121 miking it now, so I'm, I'm going with a ribbon. So I'm, I'm getting a lot more of those lows and all that kind of stuff uh, happening here, but it's mic'd far away, so I get some nice highs. You can see where my power amp is. It's, I'm telling you what, man, it, it's a cool unit. Maybe, maybe I, I want some wah on here, you know? Uh, now, preset C, you can see here, now I'm in like, a, the setting is a loft, like a room, you know, it's kind of like a house. And I have it mic'd very close. I didn't want much reverb on this. Uh, I had some other fun effects. You know, this is where this all kind of comes uh, full circle for me because using things that I don't normally use can be really inspiring. And I found a little bit less reverb on this was kind of the key, uh, but like a bass. things you like so this is just the tip of the iceberg this is what uh, you know was so appealing to me i was like oh this is easy to travel with there was another unit i was looking into that was basically about twice the cost of this um and i was just kind of like um do i do i need something like that and then uh this one was very appealing uh, except it was half the price of the one i was looking at i already have you know the effects units and stuff like that so i was just kind of like Yo, this is perfect. And, and as, soon, like I said, as soon as I got it, I dug it. I was like, you know what? This thing is this thing is smoking. You can actually run uh, out of it even to your amp. I believe if you want to send a dry signal to your amp or something like that, you can run out of this as well. Like I said, there's so much that this thing does. Check it out on the Sweetwater website. I will link all that stuff down below. So what do we say? We talk about how you guys got one. Now, one of the things when I was talking with Sweetwater, uh, you know, in the initial stages of all this stuff, is they asked me to check this out. And I was like, yes. I'd already seen a couple videos on it. I, I wanted to see what this thing was all about. And I was like, well, what do you guys think about giving one away to my subscribers? And they were like, let's do that. And, I, and then they were like, and what do you say we give away a couple gift cards as well? So link down below in the description is all the information you need to find out how you can win one of these. Uh, you can also win some gift cards to Sweetwater. Uh, huge, huge thank you to Sweetwater. As you guys know, I've literally bought who knows how much stuff from Sweetwater. I, I literally bought this guitar from Sweetwater a couple months ago, so I have no issues at all. You know, kind of this partnership with them doing some of these product videos and all that. So if you want to win any of that stuff, it's linked down below in the description. And uh, let us know some other stuff that you want me to check out. Uh, leave that in the comments. 
and uh, yo, let's you know, let, let's make this happen, yo. I'm excited. So this is gonna be some fun stuff. So I will see you all very soon. Peace out, homies. Keep on rocking, and I will see you later. Whoop.